Hey everyone, today I really wanted to show you why I'm beautifully lit right now and have a nice white background. Uh, it's not just for uh, pleasure, it's for business actually. I was, I was requested to do some headshots for two models, one being a fellow photographer and one for a model who wants something for her portfolio. So I figured I might as well make a video about it, kind of show you what I go through, the direction that I give. So there's a lot of key things you could pick up in here. Some of them you might hear me repeat, you know, between both models, but hey, that's what you learn and it really works. So uh, stay tuned. Before we jump in uh, to the shoot, I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of the, the setup, the settings, uh, which really, they don't matter. It's more about how you bring out emotion from your subject. So what do we have? I have a five by seven uh, polyester white background. White's, you know, very popular because the person just pops, you know, out of the frame. I have a uh, three point lighting here. I have a, uh, they're all fluorescent, 85 watt bulbs, 5,500 Kelvin temperature. So they're really, really bright, very nice lighting, very, very even. So I have a uh, rim light, a, back, a background light on this, you know, kind of gives a little bit of hair light. A uh, key light here that's closer, gives a, you know, gives some punch and then a fill light to fill in some shadows and then a reflector down on the floor. So that's what I have here. I'm shooting with the Nikon D700, a full frame camera, the 70 to 2.8 lens. And um, I'm not using a monopod or anything for this one. I like to uh, be more versatile. So that's what I got. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're here in the makeshift studio. And as I said, we're gonna do some headshots for our man Steve right here. And as I said, you'll see these uh, pop up as, as we're doing them. They're unedited, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing, how I'm framing it and the workflow going. We'll snap some quick headshots. We won't go too crazy to keep the, you know, the length shorter. And we kind of know what we want to go for anyway. Something, something playful, something saucy. All right, saucy. We'll go saucy. Saucy. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and as I said, uh, we have three, we have three lights right here. There's a white background that you can't see with this camera, but we have a backlight right here. That's illuminating the background and kind of just turned towards me and giving him a rim light and hair light. And then we got two, uh, we got a fill light and a key light, uh, giving the light, giving a nice, even fluorescent lighting. So let's go start shoot this. So I don't know if you can see it. I actually have a stool here because Steve is nine foot tall, nine feet tall. And he's pretty tall. He's like six, four. So I decided to grab a stool and that way I can get some good shots of him because you want to be eye line. If I'm looking at him right now, I'm around nose line. doesn't look good. So I'm going to get up here and let's look at some settings. I didn't even set anything up yet or anything. So I'm going to kind of be at around 120, 130 uh, millimeters on my 7200 lens. Just a good length. It's realistic facial features and everything. So just uh, look at me real quick. I'm probably going to be around aperture 4.5. It gives enough enough depth, but it's not anything super crazy. So just look at me. We'll just do a basic reading just on his eye right now. About 100 shutter speed, 500 ISO. And this is something we're kind of getting. As I said, they'll be popping up on screen. So, Steve, we're going to have you, let's see, we're going to have you take a step to your, go to your right. Nope, uh, foot back. Now, one thing I like to do, it's called the suction cup, and he's already kind of seen this before, but picture your hand and put it out like a suction cup, and that way it's easier for a model to see what you want to do or you can do it yourself as I'm crushing the mic. So what I want to kind of do is show you what I want you to do, but in general, I want you to take your whole body and take a step to your right. So take a step to your right, yeah, so I can get more of the background. And what I want you to do is bring your left foot forward for me a little bit and turn your shoulder a little bit towards me too. Now I'm going to grab your head, kind of bring it that way, kind of tilt it to the left a little bit. And what I'm going to teach you now is the forehead and jawline technique. You kind of can't see it here, but you'll see it in the photos. So I'm just going to take one like this. Don't do anything yet. So I'm just going to take a simple one like this. You kind of see there's a jawline. Yeah, there's a lot of headroom. Now I'm going to tell you to bring your forehead down a little bit and just out a little bit and look directly at me. So if you can kind of see from before to now, you'll see it up and down. Give something more to find it, add something to the face. And there's a cat messing with the reflector, but that's fine. <laughs> so, all right, so now we're gonna go into some stuff here. Um, what I want you to do, it's, it's weird. It's, it, people say smiling through your eyes, but that sounds stupid because no one knows what the hell that means. Smile through your eyes, let me see what that would mean. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be anything. So what I want to get you to do is a slight squint, just, uh, just a little squint saying, listen, I got personality here. Look at me. So, all right, here we go now. Just give me a slight squint. All right, one, two, and three. That's looking nice. What I want you to do though is bring your shoulder a little more towards me. 
head towards down, forehead down a little bit more. There you go, something like that. I like that. Just keep that look. Good look there. That's good. Like, look directly at me. Actually, I'm going to try to cheat a little more. Get your head down just a little bit more. Perfect like that. Good. I like that. I like that. Okay, so now what I want you to do is uh, go back to, you know, normal pose. And uh, just give me a look down. I don't want to, just want you to look straight down at the ground. It's more of a candid uh, type thing that I'm going for. And when you get up, just uh, give me a, a quick look up. Squint a little bit and give me just a nice smile. You don't have to show, just smile as you normally would. You know, you can do whatever you want. When I say go, that's when you should do it. Go ahead. See, something like that will work really well. Let's just try one more candid like that. One, two, and three, go. See, I like something like that. That looks really good. It just gives something else to it. You know, it's, it's planned, but it looks good because, you, bam, you're catching them at the right moment, and we'll do that. So just, I'm going to do one more with you, and then we'll obviously jump into April's in a second, our other model. So what I want you to do is, once again, I'm going to do kind of your whole body forward. Bring your entire left foot. Uh, bring it forward a little bit more. And let's do the, um, the shoulder coming out a little bit more. Head down like this, kind of like to me. And then jaw and just um, forehead down a little more. Down and out a little bit. And we'll go over look. So, all right, we're going to kind of come in like this. So that's what I'm seeing, guys. Let's see. Normally, you don't chimp a lot. doesn't matter. I know, Steve. I'm just trying to get you guys to show, uh, show lighting. I like that look there now. Kind of give me a, just give me a nice little smile. Just a nice little smile. Hmm. Cheesy. Cheesy. Cheese it up. You know what? Cheese it up. Let's just go cheesy. Go cheesy with me. Oh, I like the smirk there. You having fun there? See, and what you kind of do there, you just kind of have fun. You know, everything like that. So just, um, it's going to be nice, relaxed. Actually, put your, just do the thumbs in the, just right there, just relax, super chill, like chillaxed, you know, like your face falling off type of thing. All right, just look up towards me. That sexy girl has just walked in. You know, it's April in the background. She just walked in. <laughs> so something like that. Look at me. Perfect. I like that. So now that's a smile for you. So we're going to kind of end there. Uh, that's how we'll kind of do that bit. We got something more towards the beginning. And uh, we shot a little more to the right as well, uh, just a little bit ago. But as I said, now we're going to jump into April's thing. Thank you, Steve, for your shots, and you know we'll see them. Uh, we'll see them live. So as I said, we have a second specialist type of guest here, and this is our model, April. Hello. And we just met, and it's a friend of Steve's. And she, as I said, she wanted some uh, stuff for your portfolio, right? Yep. And hopefully Facebook stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So let's get over here. All right, let's kind of let's go back to facing me. All right, let's see how we like that with this. See, so I'm going to put you on the other side of the frame. So just, uh, just look up directly at me. That'll look good. Okay, let me just have you kind of, once again, I'll do the suction cup thing. So whatever kind of body I point to, just kind of, just follow me around. So, you know, if I take my head, just follow down with that, over, stuff like that. All right, mm -hmm. just see if you get it. Uh, take a step to your left. There you go, that looks good. Um, bring your left foot forward a little bit. Your left shoulder as well, kind of bring towards me. It's going to be a little awkward. Okay, kind of just bring your head like this, aim it down a little bit. And now when I tell you uh, forehead down a little bit, it's kind of that double chin thing I was showing, not saying you have one. You know, I do because I'm naturally gifted like that. Just kind of bring it down like that, something like that. And we'll see what we get right there. All right, so one, two, three. And for some reason, the camera deciding not to fire. All right. That's very weird. Normally this does not happen. There we go. Oh, that's going to work well. All right. All right so I want to kind of do a candid thing as well to see how you kind of do it. Um, what I want you to do though, is kind of give me a, a slight squint. Because, uh, you know, you're more natural eye. You're just, you're natural. That's fine. But you want to like, you want someone to look at you, look into your eyes. Your eyes pop. So just a slight squint. You know, not like you're sleeping type of squint. Just something slight. All right, let's, um, let's try it again. Hold up real quick. Go ahead. I like that as well. Just kind of bring your head down a little bit more. 
I like that. All right, do, go ahead. Do the look away thing one more time. All right, one, two, and three. No, that's fine. Let's um, let's just kind of change it up a little bit. Just keep a slight squint. That's fine. You're shaking up now. If I told you to be, be fuzzled, act befuzzled, what would you? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't uh, <laughs> But just remember, always look at me, even though. All right, okay, so act. A word that I know. What word do you know? <laughs> Let's give it like second grade. Second grade. Okay. I don't like to say act. All right, so act like you just got really surprised. Actually, let me just come uh, fix your hair real quick. Is that okay if I come and fix your hair? Okay, I'm just going to come swing around. Just going to fix the hair. If you gave me permission, I'm not a creeper. Okay, something like that. Let's kind of notice that stuff too. Class, all right, that all looks good here. Okay, so act mortified. Mortified? Yes. I gotta think. <laughs> that looks good. All right, just give me a nice little smile. Just a nice little smile. Give something to me. That's looking good. Do the uh, forehead down a little bit again. And just look directly in the camera. I like that. I like how that looks. All right, let's see. Did you have anything specifically you wanted to do? Uh, I want something sexy. You want something sexy. Okay, so what I want you to do is uh, go back to your uh, left a little bit more. Something sexy, something sexy. Well, you have to sell that with your eyes. Yeah. You know, there's only so much you can do with your body. You have to sell through your eyes. Mm -hmm. So just without anything. So sexy. The hottest guy, the six-pack ab just walked in. He's walking in from the gym. He's like, what's up? So what would you do? Okay, let's do it again. Keep that look. Um, bring your left shoulder towards me a little bit. Bring your forward, uh, your foot again. Yeah, I like that. You're gonna head down a little bit, forehead out a little bit. That's looking good. So he's still here. He's putting on the, the towel and everything. Give him a slight smirk. Give him a, let him know you're there. Show some teeth. Be like, hey. I think we got some good stuff here. All right. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. So once again, that's just some things you can do to keep in mind. Um, let me swing around. So everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll put some of the photos in at the end. And if not, you can check them out on Facebook or ericossi.com under the headshot section. So thank you to April and to Steve back there. He's, he's in there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this was informative. Uh, just some things to keep in mind is it's not necessarily about the equipment and what it, whatever you have, because anyone can do it. You just have to know, uh, it's kind of called therapy, how you can kind of coach someone to getting the shot and technique you want. That's all I got here. Eric Grassi, the guy with the eye. And uh, like this, if, you, um, if I should do more of these, let me know down below. Any questions, uh, please give me, uh, you know, please let me know down below. Good one, guys.